What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. This video is going to be about the Moors and historically who the term applies to and things of that nature. But before I get into it, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. So here we're going to be discussing the Moors. I was doing some studying and I came across some very interesting things. So without further ado, let's get to it. So here we have passes that I came across and it says strange as it may seem this familiar word more is unknown in Morocco itself save to Europeans and cannot even be said to be derived from the name of the land which the Moors inhabit so, Moorish Americans, they self-identify as Moors. They make the claim that they're descendants of Morocco. They're descendants of Moroccans. They're Moors. Now, this passage right here, this was, I believe, a passage from around the 1800s and this author he actually spent some time in Morocco and I'm talking about some months so he's traveling around this place and you see what he's saying about the term more he's saying that the term more is a term that's not even known in Morocco. So, Moorish Americans, you guys say that you're descendants of Moroccans, you're Moors, but the term isn't even known out there. So this, you know, a lot of things with the Moorish Americans and, and the rhetoric that they spew it just doesn't add up. Now here's another thing I want to say about the term Moor. The term Moor, historically the meaning of the word changes. So depending on who is using this term, you're going to have different meanings for who they're applying this word towards. So I just wanted to put that out there. Okay, let's move forward. The term war has a long and contested history, both a historical figure and as an image representing various ideas. While in general, it has been used to refer to various populations who have historically inhabited North Africa, its significance has changed over time. You see, like I said, its significance has changed over time and the meaning itself has changed over time. In his article, The Moors, Ross Brand considered the meaning and significance of Moorish identity in literary works, films, and scholarships. 
Brand notes that even today the figure is employed regularly in academic circles and in popular culture without question or reflection and without clarification of who precisely the Moors are. Recounting a history of the use of the term Moor, he explains that Andalusi Arabic sources as opposed to later Major and Morisco sources in Al Jadido neither refer to individuals as Moors nor recognize any such group community or culture. Moor is a term applied from the outside. Now this is very significant. Moor is termed more is a term applied by the outside meaning. The medieval Moors who conquered Spain, Al Andalus, in 711, those invaders, they did not call themselves Moors. The people that they invaded, the Christians that were there on the land, they called them Moors. They called the people that were invading them Moors. But the North Africans who invaded Spain itself did not self identify as being a Moor. That term is applied by the outside, by Europeans. Now, here are some pictures of some Moors. Now, you Moors Americans, you guys need to take a look at this. Because you guys say that Moors are only blacks, a.k.a. Africans. Now, if you look at these pictures here, look at this. Let's see what this says. Moorish snake charmers. Look at these. Now, these people, they're in Morocco. These are real people. They don't look like you Moors Americans. These Moors right here that live in Morocco, they do not look like you. You are not kin to these people. But these people are Moors. Now let's look over here. Let's see what... This one says, this one says, a Berber and an Afghan and three Moors in hikes. Okay. Look. Three Moors and a Berber. They're just standing around chilling. Moors Americans. These Moors over there in North Africa, they don't look like you. They're not kin to you. Look at them. You can't say that you you you're uh you have a blood connection with these people. Bloodline this and bloodline that. You ain't got no blood ties with these people. And where the feathers at? Where the feathers at? I see turbans on their heads. All right, let's move on. The more in the tradition, the more is the traditional bogey figure of Spaniards' collective psychology. Goya illustrates the fact for us when he paints French invaders as Malakians, which are Turks, and Mustachinos, turbans, and pl and platoons. More and infidel were terms of abuse exchanged by the sides in Spanish Civil War. More and infidel were terms of abuse. Not a term of endearment. Moors, 
Moorish Americans. It was not a term of endearment. It was a term of abuse. Now, they said the Moors were bogey figures. A bogey, a, a bogey is something or someone that people are worried about, perhaps without cause. So when they saw a Moor, they were worried. They were scared. There was no term. It wasn't a term of endearment. It's a term of abuse. Okay. I'm just going to read the highlighted part. I'm not going to read the whole thing. Strictly understood the term applies to Arabs and Berbers. But it is justly, if loosely applied, to a relatively larger number of accurated indiges and imported Slavs, Moorish in goose or affection. Now, as I said at the beginning of the video, I just wanted to put this information out there. But this is information that I came across as I was doing some studying. And my message to more as Americans are you guys need to do some digging, do some research. I know you guys don't like to identify as blacks or Negroes, because you, you say it denotes slavery, and that's fine. But to just cherry pick a name like more, the word more, the actual meaning of the term changes throughout times, yet you guys want to say that it only means Africans, air quotations, blacks. I know you guys don't describe, subscribe to the, to the word blacks, but you know, phenotypically Africans, you can't say that. Because scholars don't agree with you. Now, it's one thing to just make stuff up and just, you know, you just want to run with it. But the rest of the world, people who read literature from real scholars, they know what the meaning of this word means. Now, granted, the very word, the meaning changed through times, but they know what it means. And they know that you guys, Morris Americans, aren't Moors. You have no ties to nobody in Morocco. This is just something that you say. You guys are suffering from post-traumatic slave syndrome. Stolen identity. Your ancestors were shipped over here on slave ships and their identities were stripped from them. So you guys don't know who you really are and you just chose something to just call yourselves because you, you, you don't like being called black or whatever. But just picking a random group of Africans and trying to use that name as your own is not the answer. Because honestly, you're only using that, the word, to you only describe yourself as more because you want to tie yourself to the Moors that invaded Spain because you know that they did a lot of great things. Now, you don't have to call yourself Moor or more to be tied to those people because 
you're people of African descent, so you, you're, you're 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 tied to them no matter what. But to say and self-identify as a Moor when those same very Moors that you endear and love and want to connect yourself to, they didn't even self-identify as Moors. I clearly just showed you that. They didn't call them, they weren't running around calling themselves Moors in 7-Eleven. No, the Christians were calling them Moors, but they themselves were not calling themselves Moors. So I just think it's time that you guys rethink what you want to call yourselves because calling yourself a Moor and saying you have ties in Morocco and bloodline this and bloodline that you you have nothing to back that up absolutely nothing nothing it's just made up <laughs> Let's go.